What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Because we're tracking aquarium lights, that's why. All right. I love new equipment. Now, I've done unboxings and reviews on a uh, light before, but no one's ever given me one before for that, so I'm pretty appreciative of this, and I think it's pretty awesome, and I do need a new light. i got to redo a whole 40-gallon tank, and I've got nothing. So, uh... That I wouldn't even be able to get started on until after Christmas. You know, I, I I like to think ahead. So, like right now, I'm doing all my Christmas shopping. So I don't have to stress out about this stuff in December. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I think pretty smart, too, with the kid gifts. Yeah. Get Advent calendars. Last all month. So, uh, special shout out to Higer. Thank you so much. And we're going to open this, assemble it, put it together, and let's see what the power of this light can do. Super stoked. Oh, but first, uh, I have really been wanting to get my wife in on a video, and um, she just always is like, no, I'm not going to participate. So I chased her down a few times, and I was like, hey, wife, help me advertise this new light. Let's see what it can do. Let's do it as a team. Uh, so there's a couple clips of that, and then we'll get to the assembly. Oh, hey, you, you'll know if it worked, because if it did... When we come back, my wife will be sitting here helping me advertise this light. All right. Who wants to be in my Higer commercial? Come on. Don't you want to be in the Higer commercial? Just say Higer rules and Seachum drools. Guys. Higer rules. Hi Higer You don't want to be in the commercial? Come on. Don't you want to be in the commercial? I do. What the heck? What's that? Is that a fly? What? what? That's not cool. Higer's not going to appreciate that. To put this together, I would rate this on a scale of difficulty, zero being the easiest and 10 being the most difficult. Uh, this is a one. Uh, a 10 year old could do this. It's, it's not hard at all. Two screws to hook it up to this, which obviously hooks up to the you know, overhang of the rim of your aquarium. And then up here, two screws. And yes, you can slide the light back and forth to have it overhang into your tank as far as you want. Um, and these are just to tighten it up against the glass. If you've ever had a light that sits on the rim, I, I only have one that does that. Yeah, you tighten it up against the glass. Anyway, so before I hook this up and we see what it looks like, and it is meant for a 24-inch aquarium, I'm, I'm fully aware of that, but I want to see what it looks like on my 55. Uh, cause I have multiple lights on here and that's because there's just tanks, uh, I'm sorry, plants exploding out of the top. As you can see, uh, those are my wife's house plants, by the way. And I think once I started turning her house plants into aquarium plants, that's when she was just like, I'm done with the plant thing. You win. You have the green thumb, whatever. Yeah. Cause I got wandering Jew growing out the top too. Yeah. And it does wander. It's all over the place. Uh, so I want to see what my Caradina shrimp will look like uh, on this side. Yeah, because as you can see, I have an extra light over here. And I have one way above it, which is another Higer light. Uh, but not like this. It's not a Wi-Fi hookup or anything. Which, by the way, you download an app. And the uh, app is called Tuya. Anyway, here's a picture over here. Pretty simple. If you've ever paired any devices together... Uh, ever, you know that you just go into the app, turn on the device, and you pair it. This, you plug it in and unplug it three times until the lights start flickering. According to this, I'm about to find out. I haven't plugged it in it. And then you pair it. So, we'll see. Uh, and it does have 24-hour mode, uh, obviously, and the sun can gradually rise and set. So, 
let's get it on this side of the tank and see how, how much it can brighten it up. Because as you can see, this is really dark. I've got a lot of cryptocorns down here that are thriving in like nearly darkness. And some really nice crypts too. If you haven't seen Cryptocorn Myoya, I have this whole section over here uh, growing that have completely died all the way and over a year came back. It took a long time for my for Myoya to... That was so weird. I was going to say my Myoya for the Myoya to come back. They died into nothing, like disappeared into the dirt. I didn't see them for months and then all of a sudden... Now I have these awesome plants. Uh, so let's get it hooked up. Oh, by the way, they also asked me uh, for my advice on ways to improve this light. Uh, we'll, we'll check out the brightness here in a minute. But I'll reach out to you guys because I, I feel constructive criticism works best uh, with groups. And that's because if multiple people, I'm just one person. But if a lot of people share the same opinion, I think that would be better than just my own. Uh, so here it is. Let's hang it up, light it up, and see what it looks like. You just got home. Yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself? What happened today? Um, uh, math. Oh, okay. Just want to make sure. I figured if I said it that way and you did do something besides math, you would have thought that I knew and then felt guilty and just started spilling the beans. You have no idea what I just said, do you? Okay, it's reverse psychology. Anyway, take off your backpack. Let's go see what the new light looks like. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I, I, I haven't hooked it up to your tank. I hooked it up to the 55 because I wanted to see what all the shrimp would look like underneath it. So let's go down to the dungeon, to the fish room. Ooh, it's so dark and creepy. 20 feet under the house. Hey, you notice when we walk down here, it gets like, you know, cold? Yeah. Yeah. There's like no heat. Yeah. Hey, Myers, what are you doing? What are you... Boop. Boop. <laughs> okay, we didn't come here to look at Myers. Yeah. So, oh, oh, this way. There we go. You see it over there? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's so oh. Right, and I, it's meant for, it's meant for a 10 gallon, but I wanted to see the power of it and see if it could get to the bottom of my 55. It definitely look, did. Look at the myoya. Doesn't that look cool? Mm -hmm. It's a lot. So, so it's going to look great on your little 10 gallon aquascape you have in your room. So Let's go show them it. Ooh, look at the plants. Yeah. So uh, it does have four different uh, modes. Fish mode, ocean mode, and sunlight mode, and dark mode. And those you can program to the time of the day like in these screenshots it's pretty self-explanatory you set the time when you want it to raise and set and then you can set up whatever type of mode you want to use i, I believe i've chose fish mode on this looks pretty wicked yeah oh, there's a lot of shrimp in here shrimp. huh baby shrimp where right there on, on the top of the leaf pile oh yeah oh there is a tiny shrimp cool yeah, and there's it, a couple shrimp down there. The, yeah, these shrimp have a forever home. They can breed by the thousands in here. Oh, 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 that's the power of all the light. Oh. All right, sorry about the glitch in the matrix there. But uh, I do appreciate uh, everyone for watching. And if you do have an opinion about the improvement of what you would like for the light, keep in mind it is meant for a 10-gallon. Uh, it's going to go on my son's eventually, but... Uh, leave a comment and leave your suggestion. I'm sure Heiger would appreciate it. And also, Heiger, uh, one of my subscribers had a question about another light. I don't have it, but it sounded like some kind of a technical issue. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can help him out. I'll put the comment below. But also, the link to this light will be in the description and pinned in the comment below if you'd like to uh, look for it. I think it's worth every penny. If you've ever looked at the prices of uh, aquarium lights... We know we need full spectrum lighting because plants want all the lights, so they want all the colors. Um, but, I mean, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Heiger knows a practical financial uh, way to go about this, especially for us who are on a budget and we got to, you know, we can't be spending $400 on, you know, on some of these lights. So for this, this is 76 bucks. Um and I think it's worth every penny. And thank you so much. And if you're having a bad day, get up and do something about it. 
Thanks again, Hagar. I do appreciate the light. It looks fantastic. And uh, I'll catch you all next time.